Hey guys, it's Reese. Welcome back to the channel. So I just thought I'd do a video that I haven't done before with um my Mini GT diecast cars. Um, the ones that aren't you know out in their boxes like a few of them are are actually in the box. Yes, all of these Mini GT diecast cars I'm showing are actually in the box. Um, however, I have pulled a few out just because it's like you know I wanted to you know highlight some of you know my favorites outside of their travel box thing that they come in so yeah but don't worry there's um no need to worry about you know the other ones that aren't out of the box um i just didn't want all of these getting damaged you know so that's why not all of them are out of their um boxes so you you got to think about it that way because um you know even though i open almost all of them except for this guy here because it's a chase one it's like you know um I don't open my, you know, chases normally, but, um, for Mini GT or other premium brands, um, that are like, you know, $10 or more per car, um, those chases I wouldn't be opening. Anyways, um, back to the main focus or point of this video. So this video is actually showing all of my favorite Mini GT diecast cars, which, you know, I guess you could kind of say is like, you know, all of them. I'm not showing all of them because, you know, there are some that are, you know, like, duplicates of a, you know, car from Mini GT. It's like the same car, just a different color kind of thing, so it's like, that's why I'm not showing them all. So, yeah. Um, anyways, with that um, set aside for, um, you know, mentioning that, I do actually have, like, 40 or 60 in that range of um, Mini GT diecast cars, including this one chase car right here. So, yeah, let's get into looking at the other ones. I have this Porsche right here, which is a GT2 RS Wayside package. Sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. Um, certain cars from Mini GT have, like, you know, interesting names, so it makes it hard for, you know, us um, U.S. collectors to pronounce them. But I will try my best to do them. And, yes, I am going slow to make sure... You know, you can see them. Each box has a different number. Um, I don't know how many Mini GT cars are made per year. So if anyone knows that, please let me know in the comments below once this video is on my channel. There's the Nissan R32 Group A race car. Above its um, box. Acura. New Le Mans race car, Ford Puma rally car for RWC. And you're probably wondering, what's a Ford Puma and why is this not the Ford Fiesta? Well, the Ford Puma and Fiesta, I guess, are like two different models for RWC racing from Ford. So that's why they're slightly different. They might come off the same body or chassis, but just slightly different. There's one of my favorite for the GT500 class. Calsonic race car, Acura NSX GT3 Evo, Subaru rally car in blue, and I'm just going to say this, but this version of this Subaru Impreza rally car from 1997 just, you know, it just blows the Hot Wheels ones way out of the water. I know Hot Wheels makes a bunch of 22Bs, but they come nothing close to this. I mean, the details and everything on this are just beautifully done. I mean, if Hot Wheels made something like that as a premium, it would be, you know, much cheaper. But anyways, um, this video is not to talk about, you know, like, all the different diecast car brands. It's, you know, talking about my favorite um, Mini GT diecast cars and, I guess, you know, kind of comparing them to, like, you know, other brands if they were to make them. Oh, look, we have some... Thing interesting here. There's a roof next to a Porsche box for Mini GT diecast cars. And, you know, a lot of the diecast car collectors that watch my videos are wondering, isn't roof just a modified Porsche? Well, yes it is in a way, but the thing is, they're all hand-built and they are limited production numbers. Any roof car you see in real life, think about it as a special Porsche that you probably will have Slim to zero chances of seeing for quite a few months or so, again, driving down a road anywhere. 
Anyways, I'm back to the video. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to show that there. There are two, um, you know, delivery truck things back there. Diecast car ones, that is. Or, as I should say, diecast vehicle ones. Those weren't supposed to be shown, but, you know, if they're shown for a few quick seconds, it's not really that big of a deal. I'll just add it into the video saying, you know, my favorite Mini G2 cars plus a small, you know, silly oopsie. Oops. Hit the Subaru. Didn't mean to do that. But, yeah, just like I said, I mean, look at the details on this. It is just really, really nicely done. There's this one again. This is actually one of my newest additions for my Mini GT collections. Well, I meant collection. Here's this one, also new for my Mini GT collection. This one is, well, it's not newest, but it's new. It's newer than a lot of my other ones are for my Mini GT Diecast Cars collection. There's a Ford GT LM GT Pro Race Car. A really nice Bugatti one there. A really cool Supra, Supra right here. I actually have shown this one a few times out of the box, so I don't think, you know, we'll really need to see it out of the box again. Unless I choose to do that. Which I may in a future video. There's that Porsche that was next to the roof box over there for the Mini GT diecast cars. This is my only Hyundai for Mini GT I have so far. And I just um, saw another channel update. Um, I didn't watch their video just yet, but um, I think it was like Ministry of Diecast or some other channel. Um, I'm giving them credit here for this because, well, uh, you know, I'm not making these kinds of videos. Anyways, um, what I'm saying is um, Ministry of Diecast or any of these, you know, other update channels for diecast cars, you know, posting all these new um, cars, whether it's in a video or post that are watching this or comment on this, um, I'm just, you know, sharing the, um, you know, information that you give to help other, you know, channels out there, whether they're new diecast card collectors or ones that have been collecting for months or however long, um, with this information about, you know, mini GT diecast cars and, you know, that also, um, there is something I've noticed, but, um, all these channels that, you know, have these videos about new Mini GT diecast cars, they never show these chases in them, like almost ever, because, you know, the chance of pulling a chase from, you know, a Mini GT box is, like, very slim chances. If it's, you know, all of the same casting, your odds will be, I guess, slightly higher increase, but not guaranteed. Anyways, um, back to this point of the video. Um... Oh yeah, this one right here is a very special edition one. It's called um, Reindeer 8 for a reason. This Bentley Flying Spur Mini GT diecast car is um, called this special name because it was a Christmas limited edition one. Sorry if I just talk so fast. It's a limited, limited edition special Christmas Mini GT Bentley sedan for this one here. Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo. Now, I know it says light blue, but it's actually light and dark blue for this one here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here's another good one. Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster in a nice gold color. I have shown this one a few times out of the box. Um, Actually, a lot of these Mini GT cars I'm showing, I have shown probably like two or maybe over two times. Um in previous videos or live streams on my channel. If you haven't watched those um, videos or live streams where I, you know, show these Mini GT diecast cars fully out of their travel boxes, definitely should watch them. I don't know if I have, you know, the links ready for them right away, but I will find them if I have to. Um, it might take a little while, but trust me, it'll definitely be worth it. Yeah, there's those two, um, you know, trucks. Like, 
delivery trucks are like, you know, car delivery haulers. The die-cast ones. One of them's actually a pullback, but I'm not mentioning them too often. I just thought I'd mention that, you know, one is a pullback in case I make a future video with them. So, yeah, um, there's probably, like, at least 20 or 30 boxes here with a few cars, you know, open. There's the Civic Type R, the Nissan, Acura, the Subaru, this Porsche that I've shown a few times. Yeah, this is a really nice one. This was the Bugatti that hit 300 plus miles per hour, so that's a special one for my collection. Another special Bugatti. This one does not normally exist in real life, but apparently, um, I saw something on YouTube, and this car does actually exist in real life, but, you know, um, Bugatti in real life, we all know this, um, for those of you who don't, who are, you know, into die-cast car collecting and don't know about certain real-life brands that, you know, inspire these to be die-cast cars, um, not all brands are public, unfortunately, for, you know, these companies in real life. It's like, you know, we should be lucky and thankful that we actually have these die-cast car versions of, you know, some of these cars that are in real life. Because not all of them make it to production, sadly. So yeah, that's why, you know, Mini GT, and, um, there's another brand, but I'm not going to mention this die-cast car brand because I'll save it for a different video. So yeah, I'm probably going to wrap this video up here pretty soon, so, um, if there's a box that wasn't shown, um, sorry. I apologize for that in advance. I'm trying to show all of them as best as I can. This one's really cool looking. This, um, dark blue Nismo s tune car in real life makes 600 horsepower in its four-wheel drive. Here's another cool one. Roof Rodeo. Does this remind you of anything that Porsche made? I wonder. Yes, it does. This is basically Roof's version of the Porsche, um, you know, 911 rally sports car for off-road rally racing. Well, anyways, uh, that's probably gonna wrap up this uh, video here. Bye everyone, thanks for watching, have a great rest of your week and weekend.